Are you are you printing pictures? <laughs> are are you printing poster sized pictures? You know, it's nice to say I can print a poster sized picture with my camera, but are you printing poster sized pictures? No, you're 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 most likely showing them on the internet like I am. They're all being compressed and punched up and beat up, and and uh, and and then laid out on a platform that definitely is not the quality that you're seeing when you take it out of your uh, camera and put it on your computer. So uh, here's to the D D300 fans. Here's to the D300 owners. <laughs> if I had a little red sticker, round dot sticker, I would stick it right here maybe, a little red dot, maybe that would make things better. But uh, so... Uh, Let's have a look and see what we get. I uh, My vlog pocket, it has some issues. I've got to do some firmware, so I'm not able to strap on the POVs. Oh my gosh, I, I got to, you know, it's, I, I'll get all that done, get up with it. It's, uh, something happened to it, and I'm, I really, really miss it, because when I did other videos before, I had a bracket that it sat on top, and it was so beautiful to have, so. I'm babbling on Saturday morning, cold as hell. I don't want to go out, but I want to go out. So there's a fight going on up here, but I'm going out anyways, because I go out minus 36, right? So uh, here we go. Uh, if you're still with me, like, subscribe, click the bell. Let's have a look at these cool results. I hope that this mist holds up. It, it, it's coming and going. It's wet. We got some weatherproofing here. I don't know if this is too weatherproof, but it's probably got somewhat weatherproofed. So uh, I'm not too sure if those Leicas or those fancy cameras are weatherproofed. I really don't study them. That's what we're doing. Instead of doing dishes and cleaning house, we're going outside to do some photography. I'm pretty sure those dishes will still be there when I get back. <laughs> See you guys later. Like, subscribe, click the bell. Thanks. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. We have a mist coming here, and uh, the mist is gone, but it's, it's kind of bright. Everything's wet. Very cold. Very cold. You're on, uh, the phone is mounted on a big vim gimbal right now. My small gimbal has uh, pretty much bit the dust. And we got the uh, D300 with the 35 millimeter 1.8 uh, on. And uh, because we got a bit of weatherproofing here, I'm gonna try to do some black and white photography and uh, see where that gets us. There we go, here's the first one. Yeah, we're only at not even two degrees. The wind was just huge last night. Oh my goodness. So anyways, we're out and about. And I'll check in every now and then with a the video. Oh, it is, it's just me, pup. It's just me. You okay, it's just me, pup. That's the neighbor's dog. Right, my dog and the neighbor's dog let you have it. This is becoming a bit of a task. I didn't bring any gloves and let me tell you right now, it's so close to freezing. Oh. So anyways, <laughs> I don't think we're going to get much for photos today. There's a, there's a hotel here. This hotel was built in the uh, very early 70s. Take a photo of that. Then we'll carry on as far as we can go. There we 
go, there's our local insurance place. If you get into a car accident, this is where you come to do your claim. Here's the gentleman brave in the cold. Let's see, he said okay to get his picture taken. One, two, three. Thank you very much, sir. Dave Rusk Photography. Okay. I'm, this, this building right here, this is the RCMP building. And you can see uh, the top steeple sort of of a church. And then you see the big high rise behind uh, where it's a housing unit. It's a... Uh, I find all the lines and everything just and the angles just appealing. Here we are coming up on one of our favorite sites, but it seems to be no longer. Well, we'll take a photo of it anyways. He's gone by. <laughs> What you see here is a mural that was uh, taken at the lake here. I think it's the second cleanest lake in the world, third very clear and clean lake, Clearwater Lake. And uh, a local business decided to uh, get an artist to take this photo and turn it into, uh, gonna have to, yeah, 35, we're still gonna have to step back a bit. So that's the story behind this. A local businessman hired uh, uh, an artist to uh, put this big mural on the side of the building. It's a uh, Clearwater Lake Trout. We get big trout here. You search it on Google. Clearwater Lake, Manitoba. The Paw Manitoba, Clearwater Lake. Trout fishing. Here we go. While we're at it, the uh, the same uh, at the same time, the lo a local businessman. It's wet. You can see the color changes in this. We had the same artist. They got uh, they had the, uh, the artboard for it chopped up into small pieces, and then they had uh, students from all the schools from the the tri community come in and each paint a square and then the artist actually put the main wording on there so that's the story behind this mural it's uh, quite interesting and here we now we're coming up on another big piece of history in this town and that's the uh, whoops I almost tripped over something here and this, this is the old uh, courthouse building. I don't know if you can pick it all up. We're a little close. But that's why you see all the photos of this. They, uh, they'll be taking the Christmas decorations down. This building was done, was built in 1916. This is where you actually <laughs> came to go to court. And this is where you went to jail, right here. We'll see if we can take a picture. We're pretty close with this 35, but we'll take some kind of a shot here. Maybe of the doorway or something. Let's see. I'll take an upper shot so you can see the... There we go. That's the story behind that building. It's quite cold and wet, so you're gonna get a bit of a rush on some of this stuff. Walking down uh, Fisher Avenue. This is actually uh, Highway 10 that runs through the town. 
and we're in the business uh, district of that little strip. Quite a busy town, but uh, that's what this is, Fisher Avenue. This is my home. I'm glad I'm actually out today showing you guys. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that you've noticed those shots before. On a wet day. <laughs> it's Councillor Larry. <laughs> One of our town councillors. Can I take your photo? Okay, so here's another heritage building. This is the uh, original Bank of Commerce. Uh, I believe 1912. We'll go up and have a look at the badge. There's, there's, there'll be a heritage badge on this one. I can't remember the gentleman's name that, that built these buildings for the Bank of Commerce, but they, uh, he, had, he, he was known for them going up very fast. A lot of them were mostly prefabbed and came in by rail to the communities he built them in. And uh, he liked pale colors, so it's most likely this building would have been a pale, a very pale yellow, like a dirty yellow. With the uh, with the cream color trim, uh, I'm not too sure if he would have put some black on it or not. But uh, I remember reading up on his work. There you go. Here we go. When you're doing black and white photography, especially some things. Some things what people think are not all that nice and great are actually very beautiful in black and white. If you get the lines right, we'll try here, kind of in a hurry to get home before we uh, release some. We'll squat down a bit here and we'll see what we can get. Maybe if I do a there we go. get splashes of snow every now and then. Like I said earlier, this is our courthouse. Here you are sitting. This is what I've been carrying. This is for my bigger cameras. But uh, that's my big Fay Tech uh, gimbal. <laughs> the wind, I hope you can hear me. In the wind, I'll take another shot of that. I don't know how it is. badge over here. Just let me go grab a photo of it. I'll be right back. some kind of uh, point of view and a little bit of b-roll and stuff that, that I've been promising you. It's, it's quite heavy to carry around but it's doable and it's working quite well. So uh, here we are. Yeah, we were out with the D, D300 
the 35 uh, millimeter 1.8 AFS uh, ED uh, G, uh, that's an FX lens. It's about a $500 lens, American, something like that. It's very, very, it's just, it's just like it's, just like it's cousin, the 85 or it's older uncle or whatever you want to call it. Cousin, uncle, that's a common thing you'll hear around here. So, uh, here we go. Every now and then we're getting a little bit of rain. And uh, right now we're getting a bit of a drizzle with the wind and uh, it's snow is showing up. I hope you can see with the camera. I know that I got a bit of weather sealing on the camera and I, on the phone and I know I got some weather sealing on this. The lens, eh, not too much, I'm not too sure about it. The, uh, so anyhow, this is the stuff. Welcome to the Paul Manitoba again. <laughs> it's almost freezing and it was 21 the other day. I hope you enjoy some of the B-roll. As you understand, it is a bit that rough conditions so some of this is turning into snow okay so i gotta head home i'll try to get this up for you guys hang loose you don't need a fifteen thousand dollar unit to go out and take black and white photography of the streets and have good photos we are going to see we are going to see we are out with this unit and you'll be able to pick this lens up brand new and one of these cameras in very good shape for probably about eight hundred dollars American, and uh, that's a that's a lot. That, that that's a lot of that's a lot of gear, everybody. And you'll see. Hang loose.